Operation Seaman by Oliver Warren. needle full of horse tranquilizer in his butt cheek. I don't care how thin his eyelids are. He's not... I'm opening the blinds. No, someone might... Witness this? Yes. Besides, he would always fuck me in the dark. It turns him on. But you hate that. I do. I did. Our eyes will adjust. You know what? I don't want my eyes to adjust. I think I can truly live without ever seeing my wife well, buffing her ex-boyfriend's banana. Alicia, I'm doing this for us, right? I need you. For what? To flick his nipple? Make erotic noises? Give you a biology lesson? No, to... Can you hold this cup? Like here? Katie, this is insane. We need to catch it. Alicia, it's fine. There was no way to talk him into this. I mean, I knew. Ever since he said he'd mentioned it to his mum and she freaked out. So he says no. Let's move on. I mean, Emma's Tom offered. No, Tom has that, you know, his, his thing. There's no. Okay, fine. Well, what about Nate? He was keen and sweet. And permanently smells of cheese. Was it tobacco? Whichever, it's not good. Plus, I'm running out of time. You know my sister's eggs dried up at 31. I don't know how long I've got. There are a billion donations in the sperm bank. We'll buy one. And what about Sandrine? Ginger or skinny? Oh, ginger or skinny, please. Your ex, obviously. She picked that six foot five blonde Viking. Her baby, what's her face? Dumpy, dark-haired midget. I mean, our kid's father could easily end up being some drug fuck rapist. Katie! It... You realize that right now, little Katie Jr.'s dad is pretty damn drug fucked, and her mother's doing a mighty fine impression of a rapist. So if anything, you're guaranteeing... Please, this isn't technically rape. I researched it, obviously. Really? So how long have you been planning this? Six months. Six months? Are you fucking... Shh. Cup, here. He's not waking up. No, the neighbors. Cup. The neighbors? What, you don't want them hearing? Okay, so you do realize what you're doing is wrong then. There's a strong moral case. I don't lawyer shit me. Isn't this like abduction? It's Hugo's apartment. This is his bedroom, so no, not abduction. Babe, he's incapacitated against his will after making us an incredible dinner. I mean, well, that's just plain rude. <laughs> I knew you'd come around. And it's not like I haven't been in here before, with Hugo's dick here, there, and everywhere. Everywhere? I didn't know you. No, just once. And he didn't ask. He, he enjoyed it. What did you mean before about a biology lesson? Well, I don't know if... Biologically speaking, this will actually work. How so? Well, when a horse is on ketamine, they don't tend to ejaculate. Do you really get that many horses that need masturbating through your little surgery in the 11th? No. But before Paris, I mean, back home on the farm I did, a lot actually. I mean, most of the time they were conscious and we used a phantom mare with the artificial vagina. So that's where you met Sandrine. For fucks, Katie. Okay. Sometimes, the big ones, well, they'd get a bit too enthusiastic and the dummy would crumble. So then we'd render them unconscious and use this vibrating suction pump. But still, 
heck? What are we doing? Alicia, I... So will this work? Which bit? The ejaculation or your upcoming criminal defence? Criminal defence? Please, he won't even notice. Well, even if he did, I'm sure we could shame him into silence. Wow. What? Men get away with that every fucking day of the year. Anyone ever told you you can come across as a little man, Haiti? Says the woman date-raping her ex. Alicia, that's not funny. Seriously, it's not rape. <sighs> I forgot how much work this is. What does it feel like? His dick? Well, yeah. Smaller than a horse's. Want to try? No. I can't believe you've touched so many horses' dicks, but never a man's. Is this turning you on? No. A little. Isn't it you? God, no. It's probably because he's not talking enough for you, is he? Oh, piss off. Hey, baby, I love the way you're touching my dick. It reminds me of when we used to... You're walk. jealous. What? You're jealous of what we had. You're wanking your ex right there in front of me. Of course I have feelings of jealousy. Well, now you know how I feel every time you go on about your great love, Sandrine. For fuck's sake, Katie, you know you go on about her twice as much as I do if you want to start on that. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Is that the souffle? It was stunning. He's a great chef. Do you think it's hereditary? <laughs> <laughs> Would it be wrong to email him for the recipe tomorrow? <laughs> he did consent, you know. Really? I mean, he sounded pretty emphatic when he brought it up tonight. No, this one night in Shay Moon said he wanted me to have his baby. Oh, that night he was off his face and he told every woman in there he'd given them a baby? Come on. No, not that time. Years back. After I met you. So I'm breaking up with you. Hey, no worries, babe. That's cool. Anytime you want to drug me and steal my semen, just call. He owed me. Besides, he fucking loved ketamine. The amount he used to bake when we were together. Come to think of it, he fucking loved masturbation too. It's like his two favourite things. And he was forever after a threesome. This is his lucky day. He's basically having his cake and... And you're squirting up your chair, Pop-Tart. Alicia, please. You know he's hardly a saint. What? I think he cheated on his last girlfriend. That's hardly grounds for rape. He said he voted for Le Pen. Really? No, I think he was joking. But he doesn't recycle. Did you see him? He just threw that cardboard straight in the bin. Well, then he totally deserved it. You know you're not supposed to smoke until afterwards. <coughs> so, if he actually comes, what next? We take it home and turkey baste it up my cherry pop tart. What? Now? Yeah, you thought I'd freeze it? Well, I thought maybe we'd talk about it. Before you got pregnant. I, I have to do this. Babe. You can't just keep taking these sweeping life decisions without talking to me. Keep? Yeah. Like? Well, the kittens. Your mom. The carpets. The carpets? If those carpets constitute a life decision, you need more life. You know what I mean. I mean, you What? Just... Sorry, babe. I'm not going to have a heart-to-heart -heart whilst you... Well, have a dick in your hand. I'm playing catch with rape, Spunk. Why not? You refuse the rest of the time. Don't. Come on, why don't you hold the truth stick? Tell me how you're really feeling. I'm not going in near that thing. Is he even hard? Very. What are you thinking about? Oh, where to begin? Have you never let me in on your plans? It's like my opinion doesn't count. Well, you're scared of it, which is ridiculous. We've never really seriously discussed having a baby, and that you make every decision for us. It's, it's only ever about what you want. Well, what do you want? I don't know. Well, there you fucking go. Get some desires and I'll step aside. I want things. Like? 
I always thought I'd be the mom. What would both be the mom? You know what I mean. Katie, should I be worried? What about? Well, other than the freaking obvious, but you spent six months plotting to drug, abduct, and get pregnant by your ex-boyfriend. No. I mean, why him? I mean, you... Wait. It's... It's you, isn't it? What? You're obsessed. Every time you've had a go at me for being obsessed with Sandrine, it was you all along. Holy shit! You still love him! Don't be ridiculous! Katie, seriously, you've engineered this whole thing. You wanted to get back in his bed, pregnant with his child. You are nuts for him! It's not him! It is, it is. This whole time, it's you and you... You want him back! It's not him! Bullshit! It's not him, it's her. What her? Our daughter. What? Katie? We'd been together for a few years. It felt like it was going somewhere. My sister had just had one and I forgot to take the pill one day and then the next and then the next. He was being really sweet then and I just, I wanted to tell him but I knew he wasn't ready. I was. Katie. It took a couple of months. He noticed me wanting more sex, but like he'd complain, it's white. So I got pregnant. I was going to tell him, of course, but... But... You. I met you. And life... You were pregnant when we met? Yes. And... I chose wrong. Alicia, you can't... What the actual fuck, Katie? Shh, I... Why didn't you tell me? It... I asked you at the time, would you do something wrong for love? And you said yes. Oh, for fuck's sake! From day one, you were taking enormous fucking life decisions and asking me permission and veiled fucking questions. You're fucking crazy. I loved you. I wanted you. I'd never felt like that. Never. Not once with Hugo. Never before. And I couldn't risk it. I was going crazy. It, I, I couldn't see any other way. I was so in love with you. But then... The day after, I, I'd i never felt like that. And ever since, I've had this hole where this baby should be. Katie. You, you wouldn't have stayed. I know you wouldn't if you knew, would you? Babe, tell me I'm not crazy, would you? Please. Truth stick? Truth stick. No. You're right. I wouldn't have. Honestly, I don't care about Hugo. I don't. But you and me have been together five years. And I'm sorry, but there hasn't been a day gone by that she isn't there too. It's killing me. I wanted her and I fucked up. Some days when we argue, it's right there on the tip of my tongue. I want to scream at you that you killed my daughter. It's not fair. I know it's not fair. I honestly know it's not fair, but I can't go on like this. Katie. You need therapy. <laughs> this is not the answer. It's the only answer. <laughs> Babe, this won't bring her back. I know it won't. But also I know it really actually will. 
I will never be complete without her. I stupidly did this for you, for us. Can't you let me do this for me? Massaging his prostate. It always helped with an unconscious horse. Babe. What? Haven't you ever done something wrong? For love? In Operation Seaman, the part of Katie was played by Stephanie Campion and Alicia by Megan Lopez. from Little Wonder, consumed by date, month, year, by Kai Maristin. Keep writing. That's an order from one Scrivener to another. Go for it, babe. The truth. The jugular. Oh. Sex, you mean. Even Durbans have sex. Really do know how to destroy. What? Everything's pitch black. Wait, I can't see. Oh my god, the, the, the power's gone out. Hi, I'm Keith, director of Little Wonder. We hope you enjoyed the show and will leave a like, comment or share us via social media. You can find all our work on iTunes under Little Wonder Radio Plays, where a rating or review would really help us out. Thanks for listening and come visit us at littlewonder.website.